Donna Music is an online retailer of musical equipment. They've been around for about 10 years. They're probably most well known for their mini guitar pedal range. But these days they sell all kinds of stuff like string instruments, including violins, wind instruments, and studio gear, including microphones, headphones, and the Starry Pad. The Starry Pad is advertised as a MIDI drum machine beat maker with 16 pads for music production, and it retails at about $108 US, or about 70 pounds. The Donna Starry Pad is a small form factor MIDI controller comprising 16 drum pads, two assignable knobs, two assignable faders, and each of these has three banks. It also has a note repeat feature, and by hitting the shift button, you can apply standard timing options, swing at various rates, octave and transpose, and tempo tap. You also have a scroll feature, which allows you to move in four note increments up or down within the banks. There's also a full level button that seems to make all the pads 100% velocity, in effect removing velocity sensitivity. It also has some basic transport controls, including play, pause, and record. It also has two assignable buttons, A and B. The device takes USB-C and comes with a USB-C to Type-A cable. It also comes with a USB-A to USB-C adapter. The Starry Pad also has MIDI out via a three quarter inch jack to MIDI cable. And this is useful if you intend to plug it into an audio interface, for example. The device also comes with editor software for MIDI mapping. All up, the Starry Pad measures at about 10 inches diagonal, so about the size of an iPad Air, making it highly portable and perfect for smaller workstations. Overall, the build of the unit is pretty good and the plastic chassis feels solid. The rubber feet also provide good stability to the unit. The faders on the unit are pretty small, but in saying that, they have decent resolution and the MIDI values don't jump around, which is sometimes common with these cheaper MIDI control units. The knobs feel pretty good overall and they're continuous, which is great when you're jumping between different parameters. They are quite raised from the body though, so that might make them more susceptible to being knocked or getting caught on things. However, they feel pretty firm and I suspect it would take a lot to break them. And now for the main event, the drum pads. Overall, they feel pretty good to the touch. They're thick and rubbery and bouncy, similar to some of the Akai pads. However, their sensitivity is a little unpredictable and not very good with soft rolls and ghost notes. The velocity curve can be modified by changing the curve value in the editor under global controls. There are three curve options shown here. I found that the third option worked best for me and my finger playing style. However, if you're looking for quality pads at this price point, then you're probably better off looking at other options, which I'll speak about in a little later. The Starry Pad has a note repeat feature with a default tempo of 128. This can be changed in the editor under the global settings. You can also set the tempo by pressing shift and then tapping it out on the 16th pad. The device doesn't appear to have a tempo sync feature, or at least I couldn't find one, which may be a workflow issue for people who use a lot of arpeggiated or sequenced rhythms in their music. The Starry Pad editor software was a bit tricky to find. I eventually found it under downloads and MIDI keyboards of all places. Anyway, I've put a link to the software in the description below. Download was easy, but I had to jump a couple of hurdles to install it on my Mac. So Mac OS's security wouldn't let me open the software, so I had to overwrite the security feature. Now, I'm running Catalina for hardware compatibility reasons. And if the software fails to open for you, just open up Terminal, type in xattr-cr, drag and drop the app in the terminal window, and it will pre-populate the file path. Hit return, and it should work fine. The editor software isn't bad. It gives you full control of the MIDI mapping and has a handy auto populate feature, which allows you to bulk modify basic data like note value and MIDI channels, etc. You can also apply these changes to each individual bank or all of them. Pro tip, 
If you're new to MIDI mapping, you might find that you'll open a plugin like Contact, for example, and the pads won't work. The reason for this is because the pads are mapped to channel 10 by default, whereas Contact is mapped to channel 1. So if you want to fix this, you can just globally auto-populate the channels to channel 1, and it will save you from having to change things in Contact. The editor software also allows you to adjust the pad note structure by scale, which is handy if you're not good with scales or you don't want to think in terms of the pad grid, which can be a little annoying when you're trying to write a melodic line using the pads. The software does what it's meant to do and provides a really good amount of control. So what are some of the pros? Well, firstly, it's a decent build for the price. For a plastic chassis, it feels really solid. The other pros, I think, are the two faders. This is good when you want to map modulation and expression and a vibrato. It's rare to find a MIDI controller that only has two faders. Often they'll have rows of faders, which is fine, but I don't need more than two usually. And it's nice to be able to pair that with something else that I would use in a portable rig, such as drum pads. Another pro of the Starry Pad is just how small and highly portable it is. So what are some of the cons? Well, firstly, it doesn't have a tempo sync feature, which I think would affect workflow for some people. And whilst it has two faders, they're a little short and a little resistant, which makes it hard to do really expressive work. But it's nothing a little tweaking in the MIDI won't fix. The velocity sensitivity is a little unpredictable and not very good with soft rolls and ghost notes. So what are some of the alternative options at this price point? Well, the Arturia Beatstep Compact has a sequencer, and if that's really important to you, then it might be a better choice. If you're looking at something similar to the Starry Pad, then you might want to look at the Akai MPD-218, which retails at about 119. The MPD has the well-regarded Akai drum pads with great sensitivity and comes with a number of presets or sound banks. It also includes all the features of the Starry Pad except for the two faders. Other cheaper options include the Korg Nano Pad 2 and the Akai LPD-8 Ultra Portable. Both of these are quite small. However, the Korg Nano Pad from experience is not a quality device. The Akai LPD I can't comment on. However, if the quality of the drum pads on their other products is anything to go by, then I would suggest this is a pretty good option if you're looking for quality drum pads. All right, and that's the Donastari pad. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.